welcome to another Live in London vlog. It's now about 10 to 11 on Tuesday the 3rd of July. I hope I've got that date right. I thought I'd take you along today because I'm going to be doing a little video shoot uh, in the park today. We're going to do a barbecue shoot. Very excited, it's beautiful weather. I've got the work crew coming up, so I'm going to be meeting them at Sainsbury's and then getting some food ready so we can prepare the shoot. This is as part of my retainer work. I went from full time to now being on a retainer with the same company that I worked for previously. So I reduced it down from a full time position of 160 hours to now 70 hours per month. That focuses primarily on writing blogs, the copy, newsletter, videos, editing and pictures and editing and deliverables. So it's completely really on content with also a lot of community and um, things like website management if it needs it, copy, uh, marketing emails and things like that. So yeah, that's what I've been working on and it's great because then it also means I can focus on other aspects of the role when I am traveling remotely um, and when I'm in London then I can focus on the video and the shoots and stuff so today is part of that because I'm gonna be away for the next two months um, so the past week or two um, I've been focused on trying to get as much of my video work done as possible um, so then when I'm away then I won't have to worry about not being there physically to shoot it because I've already got the footage and then it just leaves up to me to just film it and hand it in on time or before um, but yeah, if this is a topic that's interesting, I could talk about it because for this I had to write a proposal, uh, proposing three different tiers uh, based on how I went from free, uh, free time, full time, no free time, to retainer. So yes, if that is a video you would like to watch, let me know in the comments below. But today I'm not, I, don't, I didn't know whether to talk about it or not, but I may not be as chirpy as I normally am because I'm having a very like anxiety ridden day. I was going to say I'm not sure why, but there are a few factors as to why I probably am feeling like this. One of them is that I've not been sleeping very well. I've not been feeling very well because I think my mind is kind of being pulled in lots of different directions and working on quite a lot of different projects and things right now. And also coupled with the fact that I'm going away in nine days for two months. I'm just trying to get everything all sorted out in a quicker amount of time. Um, so I think probably that is kind of building in my mind but I'm also equally excited to work on everything so yes I know it is all to do with mindset and perspective so I've worn my favorite happy trousers these bright yellow ones which you have seen all the time had a very very good breakfast had a big gulp of water and I'm gonna go out in the sunshine and just start the shoot and I know as soon as I'm at the shoot I'm going to feel good I'm not gonna let myself wallow in it too much um, but yeah I just wanted to quickly say just in case I'm not like woo and clapping and dancing every few frames um, but on the whole everything is great and yeah <laughs> getting the barbecue stuff Marlo to barbecue pro so we need any like salad -y bits and stuff as well I'm now on the hunt for some salad bits to go over barbecue da, 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 should we get every day? Five. Should we get two? Yeah. I mean, I don't know how many of us will actually eat salad, but it's a thought that counts. Okay, so we've got all of our ingredients. <laughs> I've got like hummus, carrot sticks. Milo's got the barbecue and the burgers. Lauren's got the plastic plates and the buns. <laughs> And we're ready most for the shoot. And most importantly, Doritos. <laughs> Ooh, bag it up. Before side barbecue, make sure it's on a stand and not placed directly on the grass. We advise you to use a kettle type rather than I've got some water, we can put it out with. Juice smoke levels. It won't smoke that much anyway. Barbecue is yeah. in the centre of the fields, not near homes, as smoke can disrupt. <laughs> Not bikini watch, barbecue watch. <laughs> Getting in on it. You and Adam. I know. Barbecue is ready, the Doritos are out, Kara sticks are out, beards are out. Cameras here. Milo's being the pro barbecue maker with Adam as his shoe chef. Yum, 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 yum. You got very good taste. <gasps> Hello.
second shoot of the day done. Hello everyone. We're gonna go and now do a little photo booth segment and then home time. Actually, we're gonna go in the office, but otherwise, home time. Lauren, you may be in the back of this. You are here. <laughs> I could go like this though. <laughs> I am now back in the office and I'm going to transfer all of the footage over to a hard drive because that's my biggest fear, to lose things. And we've done two shoots today, so I'm gonna back things up. I am now sat in front of a fan because it's bloody boiling outside. Meeting time with Miss Carolina. I am filming another day in the life. You are in last week's one. On your birthday. Okay, we're about to have another meeting, so I'm going to do another time lapse of us. Bye. See you Bye. Later. Today's just been a very productive day. <laughs> Meetings and two shoots. Okay. <sighs> All wrapped up for today's shoot. So now I am going to film some last bits around London and then I'm going to meet my sister and my dad for some dinner at Eat Tokyo. I have vlogged it before. It's a good place for just like some casual sushi and some udon and the huge katsu curry, that's where it, I filmed. I filmed a cheap eats video on the humongous, humongous katsu curry there. Later, I will talk to you more about the parks and things because I think it's a cool thing if you are thinking of having barbecues in London. Okay, so we have some deep fried oysters, and this is my favorite. This is the sashimi boat. So we have some tuna, some prawns, some salmon, some fatty tuna, some mackerel. We also have an eel rice, and also about 450 grams, 500 grams of mussels. 700 grams. Yum, 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 yum. place called Guasi and they specialize in loads of different types of Chinese desserts and it's very similar to what you get in Hong Kong so this is the one I always always get because I freaking love Asian mangoes you can also get loads of different other things so snow days Ooh, you can have some things with fruit in it some combo ones snowballs it's like really traditional Asian things we've got things like this which is not everyone's taste but it's like really really nutritious and good for you and the prices are a little bit more than what you'd expect but to be expected because we are in the middle of Chinatown and also these are some pretty exotic ingredients so yeah if you miss Hong Kong desserts maybe this this place a try it's got a little bit of grapefruit on it some mango syrup and mango chunks and this is like shaved ice mixed with ice cream and it looks glorious glorious look at it and it's so big look wait this is a teaspoon and this is how enormous it is and it's about eight pounds 99 hello i'm back at home it's about 1am i thought i would end the vlog here before i do quickly talk about the barbecue situation there are only two boroughs in london that officially allow barbecues in public parks one of them is islington and one of them is camden they do have guidelines on the government council's a website on you know the best practices for barbecues and things the one we went to today was in Highbury Fields and it's literally like two minutes from the tube station I've never actually been there before and I was so pleasantly surprised it was a really really cool park not that many people there and you've got plenty of space and I think there was like a pool or something but the reason we picked that over the ones in Holborn and in Camden is because they kind of advise you to use kettle style barbecues back. They didn't actually explicitly say that you couldn't have disposable barbecues, whereas the ones in Holborn and Camden did. So we thought that would be a better shout because none of us have kettle style barbecues. Like it's never ever hot in London. It's one of the best shoots ever because basically you just had a barbecue and like had a great time, great time. and. 
great time <laughs> full of joy now i feel a lot better than how i felt earlier today and i do think one of the best things is is just to try and not let it get to you too much but also understand that you can't always have a positive amazing amazing day and to allow yourself to wallow a bit sometimes um but only if you give yourself like a certain amount and say i'm only going to let myself for me um mope around for like an hour or two and then i've got to do something productive or i've got to do something that is hopefully going to either release my endorphins or improve my mood or do something i enjoy but not be too 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 hard on myself so it was really cool um to be able to spend the barbecue day with everyone because that really really majorly uh, made me happy and smile so yeah all good but i thought i would end it here i'm going to film another vlog of my day tomorrow because i'm going to shoot with christian who's backpacking bananas on youtube and also we're going to go to an event later that evening with grand canary and we're going to go go-karting which i am quite nervous for because i don't know how to go kart i'm gonna marry a car but not go kart I hope you enjoy it if you did please give it a big thumbs up because i love to see um the positive feedback from it and also comment on what you've been doing today this precise day that you're watching this i'm going to say bye now good night and see you in the next video